What's up, everyone? Welcome to the We Out Here MMA, not podcast, but show, but now podcast. I'm here with my lovely husbands. I'm sorry, I take that back. Not lovely, sexy AF husbands. Give it up for our guy living in the RV life. Screw van life. It's hashtag RV life. Alex Lifgata Costa. I will say oh, this. I said I ahead. kept saying RV, and my mom's like, it's a camper. I'm like, okay, my bad, camper. Honestly, but RV sounds funnier. So it let's is. Stick with it sounds RV. better. Uh, and also, guys, get up for Nick. You know, Nick the Ear here, my other husband who's got a fake plant or real plant. We don't know yet, but leave a comment down below if it's fake or real, and you have a chance to end up on a Mr. Beast video. Um, also, <laughs> dude, also, I'm here, Gilbits. We love you guys. Uh, so we have to uh, discuss some things. Uh, Alex, um, I heard you got a new job. Yeah, that- so... So I will be leaving Super Rare after almost four years of working wow. there. A kid uh, graduated high school. Isn't that crazy? While yeah. you were working there? Yeah, wow. basically, right? So I was there when I first started. I think it was back in 2018. I was there for like four months. And then I quit because I just got really busy with my uh, personal training. Um, and then, you know, we had they had talked to me because they had let some people go. And they were like, oh, maybe if you work like two days a week. And I was like, eh, that would work. And I didn't expect it to go that long, but the two days after three weeks turned into three days a week. And and then I've been there for three years since then. So it's uh, been a long time, but it is very far from where I'm living. The traffic is probably going to make me blow my brains out. And just give the time, give the time, how the duration of how long it would travel. So, have an idea. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not even going to go into all the other info. Basically, wow. from my house to get to Super Air, it takes an hour and 40 minutes in the morning. Oof. Bro, someone can take a plane to San Francisco in a shorter amount of time. Yeah, and then to get back, it's about an hour and 20 to an hour and 30. God. And so my shift is I have to be there at... (laughs) Oh, uh, my God. We're open 10 to 7, so I have to be there at... Or sorry, we're open 11 to 7. I have to be there at 10 a.m. So that means I'm waking up about 6 right now, and I got to leave by like 7, the latest... Um, and, uh, yeah. And then I leave there at seven. I don't get home till like eight forty, eight thirty. So yeah, that's wild. Long that's, day. I'm, I'm glad that you found a job closer to you now. Uh, Nick, I got a, a bone to pick with you and that bone happens to be a beef bone. Um, I've noticed you've been surrounding yourself a lot of other Filipinos as of late, uh, JK. So you're bonding with uh, Ryan. Uh, more recently, I saw you on a uh, Genius Brain, and there was this uh, former fat Filipino who is now skinny. So that's interesting. And I'm just wondering, what's the deal with you and your new Filipino friends, if that's what they are? You know, they just happen to be where I be at sometimes. And it's like, you know, it's not necessarily premeditated on my part. I'm not. It is particularly. I'm not particularly seeking out Filipino people. They just happen to stumble into my life. So maybe you should stumble into my life more often. <laughs> no, I go, I know, what, know what I think this is because okay. you don't ever text back. Yeah. So then Gilbert, yeah. he had to go find another Gilbert who was Gilbert. Gilbert. Last way Gilbert. and who's Filipino, but that actually texts back. Oh, hey wow. guys, comment, comment below. If you've texted Gilbert and he responds to you, Never. Within 24 hours. Bro, yeah. everyone down below is like, yeah, dude, like in two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Dude, this guy like... fucking all the time, bro. <laughs> um, guys, yeah, let's, you're get sick into fuck, it. let's get into it, guys. We have to mm. do a fight recap. Uh, no cap. Thank you, Alex, for that. You've been really on point. Nick, do more of that. Uh, <laughs> man, our boy, Jamahal Hill. Jamahal. Did, did not have a small KO. He had a, a funky dancing something KO on uh, so Alex's weird. former <laughs> favorite friend. Former favorite friend. No, uh, hell no. You love Johnny Walker, dude. You know, low key, when he was first coming up, I was kind of on the hype train until he you fought were. Corey Anderson. And, and then, then like, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Ryan Spann. Yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> guys, I think we are all in agreement. Uh, Johnny Walker died and came back to life and died again. 
uh, that was a really, I almost want to say cool, but that's terrible to say something like that. I got a, had a, got knocked out in a cool way, but it was pretty cool though. It was cool. It was it like, looked like a, he, he popped out of a Jack in the box. That's what he looked like. Dude, that's terrible. Okay. <laughs> He's brand that's what he looked like. He has he CTE. Like You're joking around that. Okay. That's fine. He has nah, CTE. Dude. Hey, much respect, but like even Johnny <laughs> Walker would watch that and be like, yeah, it looks like I came out of a, a Jack in the box. Well, if Mr. he knew Jack, what that was. Mr. Yeah. Jack in the box. They don't have those in Brazil. It's ridiculous. They probably don't. Uh, so, Mr. Jack in the Box, uh, Nick, uh, what did you make of that knockout? I mean, like, the, did he, Donnie just, Walker walk into that, or did Homeboy that actually? That fight was just up? weird, bro. That fight was kind of wild. Like, why do you say that? They were just chasing each other. It, it was, it was just a, a very intense fight. Um, what's his name? What's the big Johnny Walker? Okay. Johnny Walker was chasing his dude. Whoa, was I was like, "Hey, you good?" Player? Yeah, I forgot his name. I forgot his name because I keep thinking Jamal Hall Hill. That's all I could think of. <laughs> Jamal because, Hall Hill. Because the way he knocked him out, bro, is like this guy. He's he's a top contender. Who would have thought we would say Jamal Hall Hill was going to be like in the next fight? He could. He's like two fights away from a title shot. Mm-hmm. I think if he gets one more big win, he's probably like he's probably going to fight for the title. Damn, so, that's wild to think. I don't know, man. Johnny Walker, I've been very hot and cold on him. You know, ever since I saw him dislocate his shoulder after the post fight, I was off yeah. the hype train, bro. Don't I, I kind of was like, like I can't. What is this guy doing? Like, he's dancing and <laughs> he d- dislocated his shoulder. That's so crazy. That's bro, so bad, messy. too. Man, he had to get like, surgery. Really bad. Yeah. That's so terrible. And that makes me go, oh, this guy's just nuts. And I think he's too nuts. Like, he's very talented. He's very physical, but I think he's just too like eccentric to like make it far in the sport. He's like a Michelle Pereira, and that was who was cornering him. Bro, I want to say this real quick. <laughs> you when know what I mean? Like, what when are you, you doing? When you saw those guys standing next to each other, bro, Michelle Pereira is like the same fucking size as he's Johnny tall. Walker, bro. He's, he's big. I was like, he's yo, a he's a 70 year, bro. He's like fucking 30 pounds lighter than this guy. But I will say, I guess I'll just speak on it real quick. Speak yeah. on it. Give my, us your boy, my boy, Jama Hall Hill, bro. I, we said this the last time. I was fucking with him because he got that hood in him, bro. He was hitting people with that hood hook like this and shit. You know what I'm saying? He was like, <laughs> bro, like, I don't know. Fuck with him. Because he, to me, just he looks like guys that I grew up around. Right. Mm-hmm. And they, he just looks hood as just fuck. He big talks. and black. And he has like that, he still, he, it's like cool. Cause he kind of mixed in like that hood stance with his like actual stance. And he does got a hood it. stance. Yeah. He has a hood stance, bro. But I mean, he, it's, he has, I feel like he, he's one of these guys that has deceiving power. Cause mm-hmm. he, to when, it, when you look at him, like when you, if you had Johnny, when you had him standing next to each other and you gave this picture to a random person, be like, who do you think hits harder? Everybody, 99.9% of the time is going to be like Johnny Walker, right? Because he's mm. some big-ass dude. Jamaha Hill don't look like that, but... Jamaha. Jamaha, man, he got that power, bro. I was low-key hyped in. At first, like, my first initial reaction after he hit him and Johnny Walker started doing that shit, in my head, I was like, hey, I was like, you better stop playing around like that. He's going to catch you. Because I thought for a second yeah. he was messing around. I did, too. Yeah, and then he fell, and then he and then he was like, I, I'll pull I was like, oh, okay, you know, he actually is fucking knocked out, knocked out. So, man, that guy, that guy has power. I'm a huge fan of Jamal Hill, Volkan Uzumir over here talking wild right now because that man's that's I like a good it. fight. I it's like a it. good fight, but I mean, I like it. Volkan's been put on his put on his pocket a couple times. You feel me? So it's just on his like, pocket. Dude, he's Shit. still top ten. Does that's all good? Talking about his prison top pocket. 10. Is that what you mean? Uh, uh, his Johnny butt? Walker. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Walker. In his last five fights, he's won one fight out of his last five. Uh, and I didn't know this, but he trains out as SBG. Yeah. Is that... It was... John Kavanaugh, was, bro. Was they, John Kavanaugh there? Uh, yeah, it was his corner. I think he started training oh. with them for his last fight, right? Yeah, like when he, two, when three he, fights, yeah. Yeah, when he beat two, like Ryan Spann and shit, but... This is, this is a hot take. I feel like any ever since the downfall of Conor McGregor, anyone that touches SBG... Ireland, bro. I saw this picture 
where it was like, who else, okay, hold on, no, no. Who else has gone to SBG Ireland? Since think about the it. downfall of Connor. Who else? Think about it. Think about it. Gunner Nelson. <laughs> yeah, Gunner Nelson. Right. Gunner Nelson was there from the jump, and he doesn't Cathal, even train there. Pendrin. Yeah, hey, I, would, <laughs> I, I don't think <laughs> that's a deep cut, bro. That's I think a as a as Irish a gym, MMA. I think as a gym they're going down because like the Conor McGregor copycat guy. Um, oh yeah, he he lost uh, too. James Galler. He Gallagher, keeps yeah. losing. Uh, Gunner Nelson Dylan Dennis lost. Dylan Dennis. hasn't fought ever since Connor's downfall. He Artem got Olaf. beat up by that. He got beat up, dude. A uh, Patrick uh, Houlihan after uh, he oh, got yeah, in an huh. argument with John Kavanaugh. <laughs> oh, but I, I saw a picture. You guys, I think it was funny. It's like it was four squares, and it was John Kavanaugh, and then John Kavanaugh, but like kind of changing, and then the bottom picture where you're like, oh shit. It was John Cavanaugh really mixed with Edmund, Ronda's head coach, and then it was Ronda's <laughs> head coach. So it's like him turning into that Edmund guy because they can't win a fight. Oh, and then one more, Artem Lobov didn't win his BKFC fight. That's what I said. Did you? Nah, he he won a good amount of his BKFC he fights. Did. He but not lost since, his last But not one. since the fall of Conor McGregor. There's a specific time period you're missing. Anyways, Johnny Walker, Alex. Uh what does he do? Does he stay uh, at that camp? Does he go somewhere else? Does he retire? I mean, he what gets, Paige Van Sant does. What do you think? Here's the thing. I think um, he got exposed uh, that he's a little chinny. So, like, if you can hit him, if you can land a good shot on him, you you most likely can knock him out. I think when he was first coming up and, like, you know, when he was first coming up, he was intimidating people. So people were really scared to engage with him, and he's a really big dude. But I think once Corey Anderson, like, showed, mm-hmm. like, oh, you just stay calm. You know, stick to a game plan, and if you can land, you know, you're most likely going to rock him. And then the wild, crazy jumping, all that shit is going to turn off, and it's been showing almost in every single fight. That Ryan Span fight was just, Ryan Span just, you know, obviously he's a big dude still. You can't just sit there and just keep trading with him. If he lands, he can knock you out. But honestly, I think he's probably going to get cut. Like you said, he's like one in, f- one in four in his last five or whatever. Yeah. It's like, you know, there's so much other other guys coming up right now. And, like, when you see that, like, me and Nick uh, both agree on, Magomed and Kalaya, bro, you, like, you got to look at it like, you he ain't ever beating Magomed, bro. Like, he's just not, I don't think he's just going to, I don't think he's going to be that competitive anymore in the, in the Federation. So, I think maybe he can go down to Bellator. He can go do a bare knuckle fight. Or Did you say like Federation? That. Yeah, because UFC is the Federation. <laughs> Yeah, that was wild. I'm just saying that was wild. Threw me off. What would you call it then, Gil? Yeah. The Ultimate Fighting Championship? The Federation? No, he thinks UFC is a sport. See, that's how noob you are. Oh, I, I hate UFC. I, I do UFC. <laughs> that's what you sound like, Gil. Dude, that sounded like a, like a Brazilian like impersonation. I don't appreciate that. I do UFC. I do UFC. <laughs> Damn. Uh, that's my Portuguese accent. I think, I think he's going to get cut, honestly. Damn. Okay. Uh, Nick, let's play matchmaker a bit. Uh, I know you met, you were talking about it earlier, possibly um, Jamal Hill fighting for championship in two fights. How does he get there? Who are the two fights? I think if he fights like a Dom Reyes, I like a Vulcan, probably Vulcan's probably more realistic. Okay. And then maybe, maybe a Dom or maybe a Ratchik later on. Or oh my maybe God, a Ratchik. Anthony Smith, you know, can he, can he beat Anthony Smith? Yes or no from both of you? I think so. Mm. I think you could. I think I think he's danger no, dangerous enough with the tools and the skill set that he has to knock out probably a good amount of the guys in the, in, in the division. But you know, obviously with style and matchup, it, it's going to change depending on who he's going to fight. But I think you know what would be good for Johnny Walker? Give him Devin Clark, bro. <laughs> so Devin Clark could fucking you know make a name off him, elevate. Oh, and then we'll him. get him back on the show. Yeah. <laughs> And then he fights again and loses because of us. But we don't interview him the week of. That's yeah, we, our number. Okay, we can't do that anymore. No more interviewing fighters the week of. Put it out, Nick. Put it out right there. Put it out in the ether. Yeah. All right. Ether. Devin Clark is going to fight Johnny Walker. He's going to suplex him, drop him on his head, finish with a ground and pound, and then, you know, he's going to be on to the next uh, contender at 205. And we will interview him two weeks before the fight, not the two week weeks before. Fuck it. Two months. Two months. Maybe when the fight gets announced. Yeah, 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 that yeah. that far out, and and then and then we that's it. No, let's well, interview him not even for his next fight. Let's interview him like two years before his third fight. His like <laughs> three fights from now. Okay, this is what we do. 
we interview him after his fight. So then that way. <laughs> oh, better idea. That's a way better. So then we know he got the W and then we, it's all fun and games. And then we could, you know, no, bro. Here's why the we don't John Walker. No, we gotta, we gotta, cause <laughs> well, we gotta build good <laughs> mojo, bro. So we gotta get a fighter on before and then they win. Cause then we get to be like, look, because he was on our show, he won. So right now we're zero and two. We gotta fucking catch up, bro. So hey, we're gonna start getting just hey. If you about to go hey, street fight hey. somebody, let us know. We go interview you right quick. Make sure it's someone that you know you're gonna beat their ass, and then you know we start getting the motherfucking record of. You feel Devin me? Clark and Derek Filipino Flash. They don't return my stories when I message them and I I DM them. <laughs> they don't respond to me anymore. Bad juju okay? dog. Alex. Bad. So hey, Derek yeah. responded to me. I told him that we all showed him love. He said. He loves us all. Thank you for all the support. And he said that he's going to fucking be back. And there we go. Let's go, baby. That's a good attitude. Nick has the opposite attitude. He's like, I'm leaving town for good. Uh, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Guys, if you're a brother of a cop, guess what? You just oh, won cool. today. You just won today. Dawkins, <laughs> the Darce stupid. choke win. Uh, good. Good for him. I think he keeps on rolling. <laughs> hey, that's the headline, huh? Hey, you want my oh, Dars? Good. You know what I think? Good. I think it's good, good for you, man. <laughs> for you, man. <laughs> this might be a hot take. Why can't? But I think this might be good for you. <laughs> why can't MMA media do more like headlines like that? I'm sick of everything. Be like, Jake Paul does this track on Jamal Hill's sister last week. Oh, it's like, yo, <laughs> oh, this, like this is how positivity. You got a Dars choke you want? Keep on, keep on. Hmm. All right. <laughs> We encourage that here. At we out here MMA. If you win, we encourage keep all, the Dars. Keep all. Yeah. Uh, did you guys have any thoughts on that fight? I was just yeah. We should interview one. him. We should interview him after his fight. We should. We should do that. I think that's the business we get into. Because you know, the only guy that does that, by the way, is Ariel Hawani. He's the only guy that goes out and interviews everybody after the fight. And guess what? We're the new show in town, Mister Ariel Hawani. With all due respect, one time but we're, we're the new show. One time when I, when I went to the uh, John Jones in DC two like uh, yeah. press conference, I was peeing in the stall and like I looked over to my right real quick and it was like some really tall dude. So I just finished my pee and then he was like washing his hands. I went to wash my hands and I looked and it was Ariel. And I was like, oh shit, what's up, Ariel? Where, where was this? Man. Uh, this was the John Jones DC two uh press conference. It was like in uh, at the Microsoft Center and like by the Staples Center. Yeah, or yeah, like, wow. crypto yeah, so I was in the bathroom with Ariel Hawani, bro. We what did he say to you? He's like, oh, man, thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Did he ask no. about me at all? He or? was like, hey, I just yeah. found out that UFC 200 Brock Lesnar is fighting. Spread the rumor. <laughs> <laughs> Tell everybody. <laughs> Tell everybody. <laughs> no, nah, nah, he was cool. He was cool. I like Ariel. I like bro. Ariel. Yeah. Oh, me too, bro. I'm a big fan. I like him a lot. Mm. Not Gilbert. Respect. Why don't Let's you get him it. on Tiger Belly? No, yeah, dude. dude Ariel's whack. I want Esther Lynn who takes the photos at MMA. Hey, fight. she comes in a super oh, rare all stupid. the time, brother. Is she really? Yeah, her and her uh boyfriend or husband. I don't know. Why has she been on our podcast? We can talk about photos. Um, all right, guys. Oh, yeah. So uh Chris Dawkins, you know that guy that he tapped out? I'm forgetting his name. Jamie Pickett. I feel really bad. Jamie what's Pickett. His, what's his he brother? said he he said the reason why he tapped the last second was because he felt like he was biting his tongue off. Oh, Oh, have you guys ever been in a situation like that? It sucks when you bite your tongue in a submission. No, Nick, tell us the last time you bought your you you bought your tongue. Last time I you bought, bought your tongue. tongue. Uh, last time you bit your tongue. Sometimes it happens, like we without you even realizing. Like you'll be rolling, you'll be fine, and then when you go home, you're like, oh my my tongue is kind of forward. No, That's in a non happens. in a non MMA mm. situation, when have you bit your tongue? Um, eating. yeah, probably eating too fast, and getting too excited about Shabu Lin. I wanted to say that. Oh, shout out to Shabu Lin. Went there last week. Guess what? Mid meal, uh, the power went out and they comped us. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. Went back the next day to get my meal. Who's sitting there? David So with his (laughs) wife. Literally, the people know him so well. They put a Diet Coke before he sat down. They serve the guy. No, no, that's the service at Shabu Lin. They don't fuck around. You know, you don't fuck around, bro. Thanks for the invite, by the way. But yeah, they don't fuck around. Thanks for the invite, Gil. Hey guys, thanks for the invite. Fuck you, Gil. What? Well, I, 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 for the listeners, we never hang out. Just so you guys know, we hang out like once it's been a, a week. While. Not even Gilbert Not even. hates inviting us to anything, and then he'll come on here and be like, "Yo," uh, or Gilbert will text us. Say he'll text us at eight forty, saying Shabulin eight forty five. 
Be like, yeah, I can't make that. <laughs> hey, you can't make it? Get on the boat. Oh. <laughs> Wow! I said it. Or what? Get on hot fire tonight. Get bro. on the boat. He's on you know why? Because I'm not tired. He's like, wow, go do... float on your back in some water. I'm like, chill. Whoa, what's that? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. That's the, a southern. That's the a racial southern thing, connotations right? to that. But uh, I will say, Kyle Doc has looked good. Jamie Pickett took it on last or last minute notice. I had said this. I've seen Jamie Pickett fight. I think um, he's a good fighter, but I just don't think he's like. Uh, He's not in the top, top caliber of UFC yet. You know, and Kyle Dawkins, I don't even think he really is yet. I think he has potential to be, but uh, I just think uh, Kyle Dawkins is just is just better everywhere, you know. But I am more excited about our next fight, and Gilbert knows why. All right, guys, next fight. Uh, OG fighter. We all love him. He also has a brother. A lot of brothers fighting on this card. A lot of uh, brothers. Jim Miller with a KO, not a sub, not a leg lock. Not an RNC, but with a KO. Uh, guys, does he make a run? Do we make a run here with Jim Miller? Or does Jim Miller just walk off in the sunset with a W? What are we saying? What are we saying here? What are we doing? Nick? What do you think, Gil? What do you think? What do you think he does? What's I the deal's take on this? I think Jim Miller, he does one more fight. He wins that mm. fight. And I oh. think he has to call out Conor McGregor just randomly. <laughs> <laughs> like, he wins his next fight. <laughs> And just calls out the most. Ridiculous. Okay, this is what he does. This is what he does. He wants to fight Donald Cerrone, right? Mm-hmm. He has to fight Donald Cerrone is Donald and knock fighting? him out. What's up? Is Donald still even fighting? Yeah, yeah he, he is. still is. Joe oh, Lazan is his next fight. He wants like what? one more, like one or two more. But but Jim oh, was wow. saying like, oh, I'm interested in Donald Cerrone. He has to fight Donald Cerrone, finish him faster than Connor did, and then call Conor McGregor a pussy on national television Ooh. and then call him out. That's what he has to do. That's the move. Jim Miller, that if you're is- watching this, you're welcome. Um, really quickly on the Joe Lu- uh, Luzon fight. Luazon? Uh, Luazon. Luazon. That's how you say it in the Philippines. Luazon. Luazon. Uh, he is fighting Donald? That's, yeah. that's Okay, so do you guys find this... Here's a question. Here's a question. Here we go. Do you guys find this weird that, you know, we all shit on, like, UFC fighters and, like, how other promotions will take old, like, vets and put them in their league and, like, basically profit off these guys, like a Victor, uh, Vitor Belfort versus whoever. But the UFC is kind of doing that now with some of these Master's guys. division. Uh, so I think, like, division. Do you think it's I weird? Like it. No, I, I like it. I feel like we were all on board after Cowboy's last fight saying that we thought he should have retired. So, like... Yeah, but, but even, like, a Joe, right? But Joe's, Joe like... On. Joe's, like... He's older generation, too. Yeah, he is older generation. But I feel like he's at least one more than... Donald Cerrone. Donald's like on a six fight losing streak or some shit like that. Uh, but okay, I, think, well, I, Joe- I think Joe's had better matchups though. Yeah. It's Donald's true. been fighting like because he is, I think, uh, out of all those names, he is the biggest name and he's like one of the most entertaining ones out of those guys. Yeah. So I feel like he does get top bill as far as uh the up and comers. He does get the shit out of the stick a little bit more. Yeah, the one I was actually just really disappointed though was like the Alex Moreno fight. I was like, man, mm-hmm. he Donald got finished yeah. by him. Like, fuck, yeah. man. But anyways, Jim Miller did look good though. I did say I, I just thought I, I just thought his uh, experience. I thought his experience was gonna play a big part in this. Um, he looked good, and he obviously it's crazy. He has he, it's like he's coming with some power. He's knocked out two young guys. That old man strength is kicking in right now, bro. He's just fucking putting people to sleep and shit. That shit was nasty too. You see the way he fell, like he kind of like fell on his arm at the first, and I was like, "Oh shit!" That shit was rough. Yeah. Um. The next fight, uh, our boy, uh, we out here MMA. He's gonna come on before our fight because he wins every single time. Everybody, do Parker, it. big old titties, Porter. <laughs> Everybody, do it. everybody, do it. I don't feel comfortable. Nate, bro. Nate doesn't feel comfortable. Nate, do it. Why do you not feel comfortable? I've noticed that you haven't really been on board with the big old. Nate, can thing. you do it to me? Nah, dude. Do I it. I just don't like. I just don't like that we call this guy big old titties, bro. No, I'm not I saying big old. Me. I'm not saying big old. I'm saying big old. Oh, big old. Oh, 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 because oh. that was my issue with it. Yeah, that was my whole issue with it. Yeah, because Nick Nick was texting me on the side. He's like, bro, I don't feel comfortable shaming old people. And I'm like, no, he's not saying big old <laughs> titties. He's saying yo. Oh. What if that was a real thing? And Nick was like, you guys keep calling him old. He's not that old. He's 28. <laughs> it's elder abuse. Yo, we can't be saying yeah. this type of shit. Uh, I actually did not get to see that fight. Uh, was it pretty dominant? The and first it was a decision. First two rounds, he did really good. The third round, the other guy started to pick it up because he's like more of a striker. 
But I mean, he he clearly won the first two rounds by just some small strikes, clinching, getting takedowns. You know, just a standard like a good MMA fight, I would say. Okay, okay. Um, next fight, uh, Joaquin Buckley. Uh, I didn't know this until I saw a bunch of memes and like clips. I did not realize he, I didn't even see the like the pre-fight like vlogs he was doing. Uh, he was cornered by D U S T. And if you guys don't know who that is, um, it's a gentleman that featured on McDojo quite a bit. He's done McDojo a lot. Just go check out that page. Uh, I guess we never really <laughs> asked what your guys' reaction to this is. What I love Nick, it. we'll go, we'll start with you. Uh, I'm a fan. Good promotional. I kind of like that guy. Good promotional move on, you know, on uh yeah. Buckley, but uh, weird or what? Is that weird? Nah. I, I think he was very upfront with what he used him for, and he kept saying it. He's like, This is just for promotion, and I think he's really into being uh promoting himself. I was listening to a little bit of his interview today with uh Aaron Hawani. <laughs> And he was talking about like, yeah, I'm just trying to get myself out there and I'm trying to use Dale, what a great name, right? Dale Brown as my uh, my jump off point to kind of get some more followers and shit. He's like, yeah, 15,000 followers because it is. But look, hey, if that's if that's your role, if that's what you want to do. Hey, go for it. But do I feel like I wish I heard some cues, some coaching cues from Dust? From Dale Brown, I wish I did. <laughs> Bro, that man st- he sat there like this the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh, I think he's hilarious, bro. Honestly, like, yeah, wait, you know, way, does he know he's doing? A, is it now obvious that he is? This is all a bit. I think it's not. I think he's really oh serious. God. I think he's really serious, but he's he's getting in on the joke. Whether yeah. he, whether I think he knows he's the butt end of the joke, I don't know. But, but either he, way, has, I'm in he has to be serious. He has a whole school, bro. Yeah, you know but he can always just be like, okay. has he, have, have you seen his daughter with a little Bluetooth? Yeah. And yeah, then she yeah. does the same thing. And she's like, see, like if she if the daughter's doing that, it's kind of like, yo, this guy just knows how to profit and make Here, an amazing. Here's my character. thing. Nate, you wanna, here's my here's how I feel on it. Whack. Walking Buckley. Whack. And also, I thought you lost the fight. <laughs> whack. Would you say whack? Would you say whack or cringe? <laughs> Is it cringe or whack? Both, bro. It's like I he, how how it's like weird to me like we give Henry Cejudo it's like you basically just said I'm clout chasing bro like I'm trying to get clout <laughs> off somebody like that is so whack to me bro and then you use him and like at the end of the day it's like bro like this guy is putting like how, you know everybody knows that that shit's kind of bullshit bro like he's timing you. The guy's making you stay in a certain position so he can do the move that he probably practiced 30 billion times on a fucking dummy and shit that stays in one spot. Like, it's like, I don't know. I thought I, when he, when he was saying that, he's like, oh, I'm, just, I'm just trying to get him to for promotion. It's like, bro, that's, you cloud chasing so hard. That's so whack, bro. That's like, that's boo-boo ass shit right there. I feel like, and the whole thing is like, bro, if you're trying to be respectful to the mixed martial arts community, bro, that shit ain't, res- don't put, don't give that guy all the, all the UFC spotlight. You know, that guy's getting all this limelight from the UFC, bro. When he's putting out all this misinformation, all this bullshit, bro, don't bring that shit over here. Hey, can I say people. something though? Can I say something? Say something. This is a question for all of us. I'm going I'm to listen How- like this though. All right. Hey, you too, Gil. You got to do the same thing. How many of you guys have won a fight as a coach in the UFC. Um, Never been given the chance, so that's fine. Yeah, if I had the chance to just sit there like this, i probably hey, win, in, win infinity of them. Fuck, I'd he, just go sit in a random he's, corner. He's got a W over all of us. He's, Damn, he's got a win over all of us. Hey, all so right. does Mike Perry's girlfriend. Yo! Yes. So what are we doing? Hey, what so does Joshua Fabia. Joshua Fabia. Yo. Joshua Fabia got a couple wins. Hey, Joshua Fabia has more wins over Dust, so we can't talk shit about Joshua Fabia no more. We can't. Hey, remember his walk, his fadeaway? <laughs> uh, since we're on the topic of uh, this, do you who do you think is another good like? Internet meme media personality that is just corner fighter. Like if a if a fighter wants more clout, we're kind of getting like you know. Low key, I think this is the best move. There's is nobody it? else. There's nobody else that is going to top this guy because this guy is he's so hot right now, bro. He's everywhere. The Hansel. dust dude is everywhere. Yeah, he's so hot right now, bro. <laughs> Hansel, take a shit <laughs> and tinfoil and make earrings with it. No, but like he could. 
it, it's con- context wise, it's the only one that makes sense, and it kind of works, and that's why it's funny. Did you guys? And think, that's why we're talking about it. Did you think Walking Buckley won? I thought he lost. Throw it up in the air, flip a coin. That's what yeah. I said. I picked him to win, so I was very leaning towards that. But definitely, it was a very close fight. It yeah, really it was, depends it on was, how you score it. Yeah, it like it depends on how you scored the first round. Uh, I just scored the first one. I thought I thought Abdul won. I thought I thought he was landing bigger shots and landed the better shots throughout that and. They both were right in the middle, so I thought I thought Abdul took the first round, and then he clearly took the third. Second round, I thought was clear for Joaquin, but I thought thought Abdul won, and I'm, I'm surprised he lost. And I I honestly like I think that Dust guy paid him off. You know, <laughs> he went to the ju- the judges and be like Detroit Urban Survival Training. I'm like, bro, like get out of here. I hate that shit. Yo, that guy's gonna be in a bunch of fights, and I already know it. Um, he's gonna be a star, bro. He's gonna be. He's gonna blow up. Uh, let's get on to our we out here morning news <laughs> I am sad to say that I actually did not watch any of these fights, but I saw some uh, Twitter clips of this. Uh, Chad Mendez fights in the BKFC. Um, I heard it was a pretty fun card to watch. Uh, Chad looked good in a small amount of clips that I've seen. It's cool to see him fighting again. Uh, Kind of makes me want to see him in the UFC again. No lie. So, like, he got some movement. Uh, Nick, did you watch the fights? Do you have anything to say about I that? I didn't watch the fights, but I watched some good clips, some mm-hmm. highlights from the fights. And, yeah. I, okay, one, I thought he was fighting an actual fighter. Two, this guy's a recording artist. His name is yep. Fames. Mm-hmm. Kind of a cool name. Um, <laughs> cool name. But... Yeah, I don't know why he's fighting Chad Mendes. Like, that's like the worst. Like, Chad Mendes should be fighting another fighter, like a real professional fighter, not a recording artist. Because Chad Mendes, bro, do you see how absolutely juiced to the gills he looks? <laughs> His traps, bro. You think he's really juicing? You think bro, he's still juicing? He is I don't, juicing, I don't bro. know. But if I had to like put my money on it, I would, I would say he's juicing a little bit. I would say he's juicing for sure. Um, your your he, he, microphone is off camera, ten miles away, and it sounds like you're in my grill. Sorry. How about now? <laughs> hey, is this better? Don't worry, because in post production, your boy finna turn him down. So uh, I'm just gonna talk from here. Do I sound no, okay just from here? Talk normal. I'm gonna talk, talk normal. Talk normal. Talk normal. Everyone's matter, just totally freaking normal. out about. It. Everyone's just freaking out. I mean, everybody's ears are gonna bleed, but it's all good. <laughs> Wait, I'm so sure, wait, do you sure think he was juicing now? Do you think this guy is of juicing? Course, I feel like, bro, he's so you see the pictures of him? Look at bro, the pictures why, of him. why can't he just be doing more boxing so he's bringing a better upper body from that? That's not how it works, bro. That's oh, my bad. I'm That's telling you right works, now, he's, he's on it. But it was cool, bro. Like, uh, he looked good. Was, he looked good, bro. And I think, did he leave the U? He left the UFC on a loss, right? I think his last UFC fight Volk, was Volkanovski. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, he he looked really good. I was I was impressed by him, and it was crazy to hear him talk afterwards. You saw him; he was like, "I'm just happy I have no cuts." He's like, "But man, my hands are fucking sore as fuck," and he's like, "This shit's crazy." He's like, "It's way different," and I was like, "Dad, that shit's wild, bro. I don't know if I could do that shit." No, thank you, bro. I wonder Especially how much money like, he made. Six hundred k. Yes, they were saying six hundred. What dollars? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, everyone should just leave the UFC and do this. There's so much more money there. I, I have a feeling this money, bro. From. Yeah, I have a feeling like they're mixed in with some like bad yeah. shit, bro. Like they're getting this money and they're having someone like Ozark it. You know what I'm saying? Like clean it and shit. Like it's like how are you having all this money to pay these people? This money is crazy to me. And who's buying these pay per views? No one. I should not me. I watch the fights, yeah, but not man. me. <laughs> Hey, send me the links, bro. Send me the links. Uh, I did see some <laughs> clips of Mike Perry fighting uh, Julian Lane. And I, was, I didn't realize who he was fighting at first. I was like, oh, shit. It's the freaking Lenny Bang, bro. Lenny Bang, bro. Bang. That video is one of the craziest videos. We Best need a MMA. sound drop for that. Best M- oh, we should. Best MMA moment in history. I just want to make, bro. He's, just, he's <laughs> really crying. He's, yeah. he's seriously crying. Hey, I'm you me. think Francis, if he doesn't get like a boxing fight, he does BKFC and like just beat some pork? I feel Come like they, I they feel like from what Dana White was saying too. I feel like he might be staying yeah. with the UFC. 
Dude, he wasn't gonna go nowhere. What's what's the latest news on that? From what you've heard, no, no, I haven't heard anything. But like, someone asked Dana White about it, and he's like, "Yeah, you know, we just had lunch with Francis, and he's out of town. And when he gets back, we're gonna have lunch with him again." And then, like, I forgot where I heard it. I think maybe it was Brendan Schaub. I don't want to quote him on that because I don't remember. But it was some sort of MMA outlet saying like, "Oh, you know, Francis is gonna. It looks like Francis is gonna be around." So, I think. Uh, I think he's going to be around, which kind of sucks, honestly, now that I'm thinking mm. about it. It's Why? just because, because like, I want to see like Ty become champ or some shit like that, you know? And I just feel like Francis up there where he's going to knock everybody out. Bro. <laughs> I bet Ty can, I bet he can stand with uh, Francis a little bit. That's true, bro. I bet he could eat a, eat, eat a shot or two. I yeah. think. That's what I think. Fuck, That's hot true. take. Ty beats Francis. I think Ty. I, I'm gonna Francis. say right here. I think he can too, bro. If he can, like those leg kicks are what's gonna, I think, be the deciding factor, bro. He's gonna eat up Francis's leg, take away some of that power, and uh, you, everybody knows our boy Ty can bang. So, how uh, Ty, how, how much does he weigh, Ty? Two. He weigh. He has to cut. He has to cut See? to two sixty six. He cuts. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. I think, awesome, baby. I think the reach, I think the shorter reach, he just gets clinches in and just elbows for days. 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 Uh guys, uh, you guys will love this uh piece of news because you know, you guys are Hamzat fanboys. Uh Darren Till was training with Hamzat Chemaev. Uh, little feel good clips and videos. I think uh the MMA world was excited about this. You guys watch any of this stuff? Mm-hmm. I did. I did watch some it's of it. Pretty dope. What do you guys Bro- think? Bro, that uh, promo video that, that Michael Bisping posted, whoever made that with that song, that song was so perfect for that. It was good. What was what was the promo video? It was like uh Michael Bisping posted is like dude, it was such a perfect song. It was I yeah, dude, I was hella hype, bro. What was the video of? It was just like a a teaser. It's like a promo. Yeah, promo was like them training together. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm excited, bro. Like I was watching little clips again today and like Darren Till was like on the wall, like mouth bleeding, all beat up and shit. And then Hamza is just walking away all normal. I'm like, damn, bro. Hamza about to smash everybody, bro. Hey, but that's why it's smart that Darren Till is like, yo, I'm going to get some training with this dude and see how different this guy is. We were talking, we were talking to David about this and this is, this is David facts. So we don't know if this is true or not, but he goes, you know, Hamza doesn't even watch TV. He doesn't even watch TV. All he does is train, eat, train, eat, sleep. That's all he does. Doesn't even watch TV. This guy has no subscription accounts. Can you believe that? Do you guys think that's true? He has First only fans. Hi. <laughs> what the fuck? No, he's, he, so he has, he's like subscribed to people on OnlyFans. Oh, I think that he has OnlyFans. Like, think, okay. <laughs> also, like, yeah, I subscribe to his OnlyFans. <laughs> what kind of con- like what kind of new content are we getting from Hamza Chamayev? You think something <laughs> that's the best at his field in MMA, and he wants to be the best in OnlyFans? What kind of shit do you think he's doing? Just do you think he has more viewers than Page? Different <laughs> beard oils and shit. Oh shit. I thought it was going to be like segmented, like NFTs of his dick shaft or whatever, but whatever, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever. I'm excited uh, though, bro. I, like, I say it every time. I think he's going to come in and smash the rest of the division. I think it's cool. Like when Nick just said, I think it's cool. Darren Till's there. You know, I like Darren Till. So if he can do something training with a different team, get on the winning track, that'd be cool. Yeah. Gus is coming back. So I, I'm excited. If that team, that can be like the team, like Fight Ready's being the team right now, that can be the other team. Yeah. You know what, Gunner? Uh, maybe you should just jump over there for a bit, huh? <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, all right. Uh, this right here, I watched this, I think last week. Uh, Charles Oliveira sparring footage. You guys have all seen this? Yeah. It looked like I've seen these clips. I think it's like some of it was old, old clips, right? Mashed together. Yeah. It, I think that's the story with shoot the box, right? Is you fight the box, shoot, shoot the, the box. box, shoot the box, shoot the box. It's scrapping, dude. Do you think that still exists over there? You think they changed it up? It's still the way they do it all day, every day. I don't know. That's a good question. I think they probably train very similar to that. Maybe a little bit more controlled because I think that evolves over time. But I, I think they still probably train and spar pretty hard. Cause there's like there's there's savages out there, bro. Like they 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 really go for it. They don't fuck around. Yeah, it's. I'm just curious about some of those old gyms where it's like, where they just probably have like a sinus to CTE and they're like not real. Like some <laughs> of the shit they do is just wild, like yeah. crazy. Yeah, it I mean they're like, fighting. Uh, Charles was. Oh, that's true. 
I thought it was a federation thing. No, I mean, like, um, it's not sparring. They're fighting. Like, you know, they probably on their schedule, it doesn't say sparring. It says fight, like fight night. And like, everybody just, death. yeah, everybody just goes. Fight to death class. Yeah. It says EA UFC. It's in the game. <laughs> On the schedule. Um, all right, guys, early predictions. I know, I think we've probably talked about this before, but Gaethje and the Bronx. Um, Nick, we'll start with you. Um, give us a little flavor. Give us a little taste of your full analysis that's coming up. Hey, I think if Charles Oliveira tries to firefight with Uh-oh. Justin Gaethje, Uh-oh. I, think, I think that's not a gun move. Uh oh! Uh, I think I think this is a, this is an interesting fight because the guy buys Trevor Whitman gloves once, once. <laughs> I think Charles has uh, more ways to win. But I feel like um, yeah, two more decision or sub. What are you talking about? <laughs> but he could also knock out Justin Gaethje too. I think. Yeah, uh, true. He could, he could he could knock out Justin Gaethje. I think he could hurt him. And I think if any of those weapons presents itself, um, he also has something else there right away. So, like for instance, if he knocks him out, if he hurts him on the feet, he could sub him pretty quickly. He could finish him with ground and pound or he can take his back and dominate the position. So, uh, but I still think, I, I think, I think Justin Gaethje can get it done. Mm. I don't know why. I just think Justin Gaethje can get it done. There you go. Uh, Alex, want to give us a little bit of your preview analysis? Yeah. So I think last time we talked about, I was heavy on Charles Oliveira. Yes, you were. But now I, I mean, Here we go. I'm in the middle, bro. Want to know why? Because, Trevor Whitman, I've been getting ads on Instagram about his his art of striking. It's very good. Yeah, very and good. I'm like, and it's only thirty nine ninety five right now. It's on sale, and I was like looking at the like Justin Gaethje, his movement, and like I'm like, bro, Justin Gaethje is good, dude. And I just when think, he doesn't fight like he did with yes. Michael Chandler, and I think I, I think um, I think he's gonna keep it clean on this one, and I think on honestly, he just needs to. People need to watch how Paul Felder beat Charles Oliveira. They really do. Just see, like, bro, don't get too crazy with your striking. Just throw your distant strikes. Stay, you know, and if he goes to take you down, just... I think Justin Gaethje has good enough takedown defense that he's not going to let Jake... uh, What's it called? Oliveira get on his back. But he'll have... He won't let Jake Paul get on his back while him and Oliver are fighting. <laughs> <laughs> you just see Jake Stupid. Paul run in into the cage. He runs in the cage. Ah, uh, got his back. Got your hat. Got your hat. I, but I'm I'm starting to lean more towards Gaethje, especially just like seeing him train, bro, and just like knowing, you know, the caliber of teammates he has, bro. You know, he has fucking Kamar Usman. He has is he even that good? Because you guys think Chamayev's going to just steamroll him. <laughs> bro, I still think, you know, yeah, honestly, Kamar Usman you guys is suck. one of the greatest, but I think Chamayev's, once he gets there, bro, you can't deny the man anymore. But, but here's the thing. If he beats Gilbert Burns, you guys are already saying he fights K- uh, Kumar Usman he's ready? 100%. If he walks. Oh, no, no, no. God! No, 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 no. We said if he goes in there and walks through Gilbert Burns, which I do think he's going to do, then he goes and fights Kamar Usman. Do you ditto that, Nick? You don't have to say just yes or no. Just that's, that's it. That's he fucked said, up. I don't think he right. walks through Usman. I think he, he's going to have a tough fight with Usman, but I feel like... This is wild. No, no, I, I, Gilbert Burns. Do. I say walk through Gilbert Burns. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Yeah. But I, I don't think he's going to be able to walk through Usman. Imagine literally the fight happens, right? And Chamayev just walks really slow. And then all of a sudden you see Gilbert Burns go. Hmm. And like, it's just like, he just teleports through Gilbert Burns. And like, <laughs> literally no walk, KO. He literally <laughs> walks through him and like walks through his soul. And it just knocks Gilbert Burns out. Dude. And then you owe me 500 bucks, Gilbert. No, he doesn't walk through him. He actually goes into his body and explodes out of it. That's the better way to win. That's the better mm. way to win. Fatality. Poor Gilbert Burns, huh? Uh, I'm going to just put it out there. De Bronx, guys. Come on. I think you guys are just like, I, I know you're, you saw how you fought fucking Michael Chandler. Gaethje loves a fun fight. He doesn't care about the champ. He's not Poirier. He loves a fun fight. I think I, a fun fight with fucking the Bronx. You know something? what happens. Yes, because you're wearing something. the same glasses as him. Go ahead. Uh, I, this is what I think. <laughs> same thick glasses as him. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. No, do, do the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing. I'll say this: if, you... if Dustin Poirier took more chances in his fight, I think he would have beat Charles Oliveira. If he was a little more bold in his uh, certain positions. And if he took a little more chances, I think 
he would have won. With that being said, I think Justin Gaethje is, is tenacious enough to be able to go in there and finish Charles Dubronx and not be worried about all these other attacks that yeah. some people might be worried about. Uh, yeah, I think that. I think, you know, Dustin is – Dustin was – nervous about the jujitsu he knew how dangerous that was so that's in his head i think gaichi's crazy enough to not give a fuck about the jujitsu and he's like i'm going forward bro when he, when have we ever seen him step back i also think he fought michael chandler that way because he knew eventually michael chandler was gonna start shooting mm-hmm. so he was staying low and just throwing crazy punches because he knew chandler was gonna go in for some shots because we all know chandler ain't built for ufc baby he ain't built for this shit he ain't built for justin gaishi that's on ganging him and folking him oh yeah shit. but he's good at crossfit i've seen videos so and he doesn't pay the and he doesn't, yeah. videos. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I, saw, I saw you. I saw Alex, I saw Alex and Shiller do this. Like he was about to say something like, before he says it. Yeah. Uh talking that all. shit. All right, guys. You know what? Let's just get to our quick pick picks because I, I I can't like not talk about this uh main event that's coming up. It's wild. It's fucking it's so wild. Crazy. So guys, let's get to our quick pick picks with Alex of Costa and Nick. <laughs> the ear uh we got our boy islam makachev a proven fighter unlike chamayev someone that's actually gone through the ranks and beat people with names this tape right? bro is so crazy uh islam makachev versus bobby green bobby green would you say late replacement fresh off a win bobby um, I. guys i don't even know where to start with this but I have a feeling you guys are okay. leaning towards uh, towards Islam Makachev. You guys <laughs> choose the Makachev, but I would ask you while you make your picks if you can possibly just think about who Bobby Green is and what he's done in his career and what he represents. So, Alex, we'll start with you. Also, nice fade, brother. Thank you, player. I think the world is finna be shocked on Saturday. <laughs> Ooh. When Bobby Green Ooh. puts Ooh. hands on Islam Makachev. Makachev. Islam Makachev, I'm a big fan, but... Not that he, big, I guess. He ain't Habib, you know what I'm saying? And Islam <laughs> Makachev been has been knocked out before, okay? He's such a football player. Bobby yeah. Green has wrestling. He has wrestling. He hardly has to use it because his hands are so good that people can't even get in on him. And I was watching... Uh, they're both southpaws, right? So Bobby's going to be able to throw that leg kick like he was really good in this last fight mm-hmm. when every time Nasrat went southpaw, boom, leg kick, ba ba ba. Bro, I just think, uh, I think Bobby Green is honestly going to put uh, Islam uh, away. I re- have a, Holy have, shit. I have a big Let's feeling. Go. I have a big feeling when, especially that Al- Ally Quinta fight, how fast Bobby from his hips was able to throw that one, two. Just ba accurate on Al while Al was coming in for a takedown. I know it's not Islam, but man, I just think Bobby's about to shock the world, bro. He has everything against him, so he's just going in this fight, be like, "Fuck it, I'm going all out to catch weight." I think Bobby Green's about to do work and shock the world and finish Islam in the second round. Wow, I love that. Uh, that's a shocking to hear from you because what I feel think, like Gil? you you've been Makachev all day. I'm gonna say mine after you, Nick. Go ahead. Wow. Let's ask him. Let's ask him first. Who do you think? Bobby Green. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, now you guys can go. So now you're not. Wait, what? I missed that bit. There's somebody there. Oh shit! Is that who was that? Tiago Santos. Tiago yeah, Santos. 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 He's very happy. Hey, Johnny Walker RV. lost again. Uh, <laughs> no, okay, I'll, I'll go really quick. Um, look. You guys already know, I was only on Islam Makachev train when he beat Dan Hooker because I felt like he didn't really fight anyone, <laughs> honestly. And I don't care if you're on a 15-fight win streak when it ain't someone in the top five. Honestly, but okay, I'll give you that. Mm-hmm. But this is why Bobby Green's going to win because the Ooh, last fight, I, and I got receipts because the last fight that Islam Makachev lost was against Adriano Martins. And guess what? He lost by KO. And what does Bobby Green do? He only KOs. So that's <laughs> the logic. Fucking Bobby Green's knocking out a guy that doesn't know how to stop the KO. Let's that, go. Let's go first. Islam Makachev does let's not know go. how to stop the KO. Nick, I know you're a Mr. Makachev. <laughs> but he's also a Bobby Green too, bro. I know that's I I'll, I'll, I'll give Nick this. You have to say it later. 
What does your heart say? And what does your mind say? <laughs> And what does your then again say? The, what does your then again say? Uh, which which pick, I I'm only gonna give one pick. You guys ask for the just one pick. And, and I never ask, know what both of them are. I already know what both of them are. How, how you want me to do this? How you want me to do this? Hey, you know what? I want both. Give me I want, give me I want, a defense. You tell me both. who to I pick, and I'll give both. you a rationale. No, I, oh. I, this is what I want. I want to hear your heart and what your MMA mind thinks combined. Because I can though. tell you right now, my heart. For some reason, is telling me Bobby, and my MMA mind is like Bobby. He has all the skills in the Same world. Here. He has yeah. nothing to lose in this fight, so he's just gonna go in there and just Baba. There's there's so much more pressure on Islam. Bobby's not even ranked right now, Palair. I don't think so, unless he got just recently got ranked. But I don't the fact even that think, he's not ranked is crazy. yeah. So like, bro, this is a fight of a fucking lifetime for him. Who cares? You know, everything mm-hmm. is riding on Islam. If if Islam loses this, this whole Habib, like, you know... And Gilbert was right. Gilbert was right this whole time. And also, Islam doesn't know how to stop the KO. He doesn't. He doesn't I, know how to I stop I literally the asked KO. him. I, I called him. He's like, hello, better. I was like, hey, the KO is coming. How do I stop? I was like, bro, like, how do you, like... <laughs> how do you go into a fight? Yeah. <laughs> how do I stop? How do I stop? What do you mean uh, you don't know how to stop it? All right, Nick, why does Islam win? I'm just also keeping my with my pick. I'm pretending that Islam doesn't know how to wrestle. Go ahead, Nick. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I think... I think Bobby is going to put up uh, – I think he's going to make Islam have some fits on, on the stand-up a little bit, and it's going to take some time for Islam to be able to kind of pick his rhythm and see what's next. I think he's going to stand and strike with him a little bit. But then I feel then again, like again, whenever again. – No, I feel like whenever Islam decides, he's going to be able to take him down, get to a dominant position. Wow. I don't think he's going to finish him right away. I think it's going to take some time. But I feel like maybe we'll see a finish in the third round submission. I, I just think Islam is just such a, a talented submission grappler uh, with his control. Bobby Green is great, and I really hope he he wins. You know, I would love I, to just maybe this I would love to see him get a W. But how about this? I think uh, Islam Islam all the way, brother. Bobby Green, dude, beat Ally Quinta, and Ally Quinta wrestled him the whole time. Just putting it out there. And Ally what? Quinta gave Habib his hardest fight. <laughs> you wild, bro. You wild. He, yeah, he did. He let him. He, he let Habib ride him for three rounds, but I was like, I'm done. And then he <laughs> he messed up on the timing of it. But it was fine. You guys are crazy. Um, I feel like Islam is a specialist at what he uh, does, and Bobby Green's not. No, I feel Bobby Green is very good at what he does, but I just right. feel like why well, two specialists? He, Islam has the tools. His game is dependent on changing the whole pace of the whole fight. Like to be able to control the whole pace of the fight. With so with that being said, I give Islam the the top uh yeah. I give for, I give him the pick. For some reason, I'm just having this feeling too. I there's literally you no, hear what Bisping said about it though? He said the same thing you did. He was like, I think uh I I think people are gonna be surprised with this. Bobby, bro. Saying. I think but I for some reason there's no proof, there's nothing I've seen that made me feel this way, but I just have a feeling that Islam's about to – he's going to have a hard weight cut. Mm. How thick he looks. Yeah, but I Huge. just feel like I've seen him before, right? There's been a couple fights where he looked like he had a really tough weight cut. I just feel like – and then Bobby just fought. He's fresh, you know what I'm saying? He didn't really take that much damage. and He did not. Right. Well, let's look at the odds for a sec, right? Yeah. Take a look at the odds. I think I saw – okay, so Islam is minus 600. Bobby Green is plus 470. That might be a nice little bet. Put a hundred hey, bucks on Bobby Green. Hey, look at the the UFC site is so wrong. Islam's a positive two eighty. <laughs> or yeah, that's crazy. Two eighty yeah. is nuts. He's uh, he's way higher than that. Maybe you guys no, see what Vegas is saying about Bobby Green. Honestly. Oh, this is super fucked up, bro. Also, Bobby Green best beard in the UFC. Like, yes. kind of the best, bro. That shit is sick as fuck, bro. All right, you guys have the official picks. Me and Alex believe in um, Bobby you know, the underdog. I want Bobby to win, though. No, you don't, Nick. You already said your piece. No, win. you don't. I just think Islam is going to win. That's but then make him your that. official pick. Make Bobby Green your official pick. You're I'm not. making him my official pick for this for the boys. Let's go. Bobby Green. There we go. Day. There we go. Um, all right, guys. Co-main event. I don't know why this is the co-main event. I think these guys are both like on 18 fight losing streaks, but uh <laughs> Misha Serkinov versus Wellington Terman, which sounds like a character in Harry Potter. Wellington Terman. Uh, who do you guys got for this? 
I got pink nips, uh, Wellington tournament. <laughs> Alex, what I haven't you seen got? Pink nips in a while, so. Um, I'm gonna go uh, Mish, Misha Serkinov. Why? Cause he, he got brown nips. Yeah, and he, I think he's really good. Uh, his nipples are a little bit better. They're not as like, like light and like you know in your face. And uh, <laughs> also, rude, he, huh? he's really strong. Uh, and it's it's at middleweight, so I think you know he's starting to get you know fit in in middleweight, you know, because he was coming down from light heavy. Uh, I think this is a good fight for him. I think Wellington is a good fighter, but he's not like the top of the top of the top. So I think it's a good fight for Misha to win. Misha's been in there with the top light heavyweight, so he has. Uh, I think this is a good fight for him to win and start building up a little a uh, little run at uh, eighty five. Momentum. I'd like to point out that you would, it's crazy. You would think someone from Latvia would have the pink nips and someone from Brazil would have the brown nips. So I'd that's like to point that too. discrepancy out there. That's crazy. Yep. That's why I pointed um, out. You also, say Lafayette? It's Latvia. I said Latvia. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, Latifi. boy. Yeah, this guy that fought from uh, Lafayette, Louisiana. <laughs> uh, shout out to Smance. Shout out to Smance. I was going to do that. Shout out to Smance. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm going to have to go with uh, Latvia. You know, just do the lot for you. Also, don't have your name be Wellington Terman and you're from Brazil. <laughs> All right. Uh, be next British. fight, uh, we got uh, Jiyeon Kim. I almost messed up her name. Jiyeon Kim versus Priscilla Cachoeira. I'm saying that wrong. How do you say that? Cachoeira. 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 Uh, Nick, I, we all know who Nick's going to pick. Who am I going to pick? Who do you think? I'm picking, take off your glass. Take off your glasses. I'm picking Fire Fist. And who do you think that that look with Nick's glasses off? Come on, who's he picking? Fire Fist. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Uh, Alex, who do you got? Green's uh, hot right now. You got Fire Fist. I will never ever go for Priscilla. She's a cheater. Um, is she the one that touched gloves and punched someone? She's done that, and then she I also is the one that just tried to gouge uh, Gillian Robertson's eyes out when she was oh, getting yeah. submitted. He looks crazy, bro. Purposely, she was literally purposely trying to gouge her eyes out. So I will never go for someone like her. Uh, I think she's a piece of shit. And I think I'm surprised she's honestly, she hasn't won. Like, I think she has, let me, let's see. I think she's won like one fight in all of her fights. I guess no, more than one fight. Does she only fight girls that dye their hair? Jeez. Yeah, she lost three in a row, won two in a row, <laughs> and then lost again. <laughs> But uh, she's a piece of shit, bro. Like, I just don't fu- – I just, you guys know I hate cheaters in this sport. Uh, yeah, yeah. And um, she's – Why you like John Jones then? Yeah, why do you like John Jones so much? Uh, why do you uh, like uh, – hey, uh, hey, he might have cheated cheat, on his bro. wife, but that's not in the sport. You feel me? <laughs> um, but uh, she's a cheater. She literally tried to change – you could change someone's life. Imagine if she actually gouged her eyes, like, bad. But what, like, what, what, what if it was for the better – it wasn't that's, for the better, bro. She changed her for the better. No, because Gillian, Gillian is good. She looked good, so she don't need her eyes gouged out, bro. So fuck Priscilla. I, I just, I just think someone like that. I'm surprised they even let her stay in the UFC. It was so blatant that she was doing it that it's just crazy to me how he's she he's still in there, or she's still in there. That's why and, she about to get burned up by Fire Fist. Dude. Hey, that's Fire Fist, let's go. I'm piece her ass up. I'm Fire, fire Fist. Fist. Let's get let's get her on the show before she'll. She'll, she'll do fine. This fight All is right. a fucking banger, Guys, banger. I think this should have been the co-main event. I don't know why it wasn't. Yeah. These are two fighters with amazing records and some streaks right now. We got Armand Sarukian, who I believe uh, did Makachev fight him? Yeah, yep. Makachev beat him. He gave Makachev and a hard fight too. He did, and that's why I think he's better than Makachev. Uh, Joel Alvarez. Uh, I like both these fighters. They're both great. But how do you not go again? How do you pick against Sarukian? That guy's just a fun guy to watch. Uh, so I'm going to go with Sarukian on this. Um, Alex, who do you like in terms of personality? And then who do you like in terms of fighting ability? Personality, I think Joel Alvarez, definitely. Uh, fighting ability, fighting ability, Armand, even though I have no mm-hmm. idea how to pronounce his nickname. <laughs> try your best. Try your best. Go. Ahalakamatolitz. That's uh, pretty that's good. Nice. That's pretty good. Um, here's the That's thing, racist. bro. Yoel, you know, Islam just fought uh Tiago Moise, took him four rounds to finish him. Took Yoel what two rounds or one round to finish Tiago? Yoel is he's good, bro. He's big. Look at six two, bro. This guy's five seven. 
Like, there are he, stats with like a different weight class. Yeah, he's a big dude, man. And dude, he's tall as shit. Yeah, he's a Six really two. he's a really big guy. I will say this though, he's missed weight a couple times. So um I think Armand, I think what's gonna do it, I think he really showed it in the uh Islam fight is his his grappling's another level. Yeah, like he's really good. So I think he's gonna. I think Armand's gonna win um, by just using being smart, using grappling, and just. I think he might like submit him, like his second round, third round. Uh, Nick, who do you think has a better physique? And then two, who do you think has a better fighter ability? <laughs> um, Armand Sarukian for both. Damn, uh, I think Joel Alvarez. I- I'm surprised. I'll say this: I'm surprised the UFC made this fight. Man, why? Um, because these guys are both so freaking talented and they're so good. But I feel like uh, this is also another one of those fights where if they fight them each other this early in their career, nobody really takes a loss, right? Okay. Um, and I feel like the other person gets elevated uh, either way. But I think Armin is the guy to pick in this fight. I think he has – it doesn't mean that Joel can't win. I wouldn't be surprised if Joel won. But I feel like Armin Sarukian, style-wise, skill-wise, has everything he needs to be a champ. And I feel like he matches up very well against Joel Alvarez, just like what Alex said with the grappling alone. I think that's how he gets it done, um, is with the wrestling and the grappling. Like, he's really dynamic, really scary. He's very well-rounded, very mentally strong, very mentally tough. So I feel like he's the guy to, to, to win this fight. And he's from Georgia, like you, Gilbert. Yep. Yeah, me, him, Atlanta. and Giga, all from Georgia. Uh, guys, I'm, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm going to have to switch. I'm going to switch to Joel Alvarez. Something just happened in my mind. I just remember him uh, beating uh, Joseph Duffy, and I was shocked by that. So I'm switching last minute, instinctual. Joel oh, Alvarez. Okay, yo, Joel, Al- Joel Alvarez is good, bro. He Joel just misses Alvarez, weight, I, bro. He misses weight a lot. And, he has a fight like, wrestler, brother. And he, he has a lot to, brother. and I think he has a lot to gain to this, uh, gain from this because he's not ranked. I think this is, oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying this. Rukin's gonna lose the uh, ch- 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 choke. I'm just wild, put it out there, bro. bro you kind of wilding. If I'm he wild. does, I swear to God, I'll quit the fucking show. I'll quit, dude. I think he. Oh my god, his record's amazing too. And now uh, Armand, we have Armand. this fight is another sick one too, bro. Is it a barn burner though? We don't know. It's a barn burner, dude. This is gonna be a barn burner, actually. A barn burner. All right, guys. We you got this guy our man. I don't know who this his, is. Tell me a little bit brother, about these two fighters. His brother, Armin Petrosian. His brother, yeah. I think, younger is probably the one of the most decorated kickboxers of all time. He's like the goat. He's like the. He was the Floyd Mayweather the of goat. kickboxing. Oh, is that the guy Bill. that just got crazy? Like a crazy. He, he just got, got knocked out. He just got yeah, knocked yeah, out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But um. His brother is fighting. He fought in one FC. He did the MMA kickboxing rules. I think he had a couple MMA fights. Oh, Giorgio, that guy. Uh, Armin. Giorgio is his brother. Armin mm-hmm. is the guy who's fighting. Yeah. In this UFC, but he fought in the one FC in the Muay Thai kickboxing uh, MMA stuff that they do over in one FC. But Gregory rodriguez is really good he's down a bang but i also think he's black belt he's just a black belt <laughs> so i wonder if uh he takes down armin because that's what i would do if i was fighting him and if i was a juicy black belt but we'll see he also might be down to scrap and if we do see these guys stand up it's gonna be a really fun fight but um i'm excited to see armin so i think i'm gonna pick armin in this fight wow um alex who do you got I'm going to go Armin. Uh, Gregory is good. I've seen him lose before, though. Um, and I don't know. He just, I think he fits his nickname too much that it's kind of weird. His nickname Robo is Cop. Robocop. <laughs> and he literally looks, kind of looks like it. So I'm just like, eh, there's something weird about him. So I'm going Armin. Yeah, I'm going to go Armin, too. Everything Nick said about the whole kickboxing background, I'm feeling it. But then also Gregory, the way he's games. standing right now. The way yeah, Gregory right? is standing it's is weird. unacceptable. So unacceptable. <laughs> it's not, it's he's like he's like putting his his just his pelvic area. He's like it's pushing like, that out. But it's like he's not trying it. That's just how he looks, which is not a good thing to do. Yeah. You know, it looks like he eats a lot of acai. And then speaking of one FC, we out here morning news some additions. Did you guys know that John Wayne Parr is fighting the Filipino landslide Edward Foliong? No one cares except me. Putting wow. that out there. What about Rod Tang? Wayne. Rod Tang and uh 
Rod Tang and Demetrius Mighty Mouse are going to fight soon. Yeah. Wait, that's that's, that's, the, uh, that's yeah, going to be another one of those fights where it's like one round MMA, one round Muay Thai, one round MMA. Yep. Wait, crazy. is that for real? Yeah. Yep. Wait, no, wait, they're yep. alternating the rules? Yeah. yeah. Each round yeah. changes. Because Rod Tank is a yeah, they're not fucking MMA with fighter. Me, man. He's not an I MMA s- fighter. He's, hey, he's I, a swear, I swear on my Muay life that that's the actual. Rules. I just can't tell because you both kept saying, yeah, yeah, the same time. Yeah. So I don't know if it's a joke yeah. or not. Because well, it's been Alex, announced. It happened, for, right? Yeah, it's yeah. been announced for a while. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, so first round MMA, second round, they just can't. No take What? Muay Thai. It's like kickboxing only, and then. Then they do like an MMA round. I don't know what the exact rules, but it's around, it's around that fuck? special rules fight. Look it up, Gil. You have I kind of like that. I'm into yeah. that now. You know, you what? have a computer that's in the box still that you spent five thousand dollars on. False. It's hanging on here. It's mounted. So we're gonna do. We're gonna do. I'm gonna come in there. Come and over and for some chicken wings. Hey, hey, shows your hair come more. Come over for some chicken wings. I need you to come here to see if rice flour or AP flowers are better frying for chicken wings. So why don't you come over, bitch? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, check out Nick's food TikToks that he hasn't uploaded yet. Um, but you can also follow him at Nick the Ear. Alex Lift got a Costa. Check him out at Whole Foods. He's got a whole new setup there. You see him on aisle six. They got Panko. Uh, you can follow me at Gilbert's. Uh, do you guys have any other announcements? Alex, do you have an announcement? Maybe for another podcast or something? Yeah. Uh, hey, hey. Sorry. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> sorry, Very sorry, good sorry, promo sorry. No, push no, right no. now. I hate you. Uh, me and my boy, Mark Smalls, who's been on the show, we started a new podcast. It's called Stressin', and it's going to start Ooh, uploading stressing. this week. Uh, we just filmed the first episode today. Um, in the RV. In the RV. It's going to be based on, it's like a mini uh, JRE set. We got a little table. We got the thing. Wow. We, we was both drinking something. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. You so drink? No, like, we were drinking something. I was drinking, oh. I, you know. <laughs> Tight uh, seven. Uh, huh? Yeah. But, um, yeah, so we started that. Um, Yeah, so... Yeah. Well, cool. Yeah. Check it out, guys. Link down below. Uh, Nick, get any announcements or anything else you're working um, on? There? My website is live, Um, Every day, there's going to be a new blog post, a uh, new informational article for you guys, maybe a recipe for you guys. So uh, be on the lookout. They'll be updated daily, um, sometimes maybe weekly. We'll see. But yeah, look out for all my content on there. And uh, thank you for checking it out. And make sure Appreciate you try it. the white bread ravioli sandwich. Oh, yeah. Try that out as well. Or check out the the reel or the TikTok to understand what he's talking about. Uh, <laughs> context. <laughs> context is important. Uh, I wish I, I could so screen bad. share this. Type it. If you also want to check out ntesolutions.co.uk, it has nothing to do with Nick. And I accidentally clicked it by accident. And it's a black guy that's selling licenses for computers. Um, you can follow me at Gilbert's uh, doing stuff. I feel like everything I do is behind the scenes, so I don't know anything I can announce anything ever. Yeah, me too. We'll I'm see. doing a bunch of stuff behind the scenes as well. we'll see. I can't announce any of it. <laughs> Name one thing. Go. I can't. It's not confidential. You got me. You got me. I was trying to trick you. I was trying to trick you. We love you guys so much. Play that music, Alex, uh, while I'll do some outros. Uh, make sure you use um, no promo codes this week. Um, and Because uh, if you don't want... If, you want us to use promo, 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 promo more, more promo codes? Um, if you guys want your sh- to be sponsored with one of your uh, your items, or you have like you know a friend in the neighborhood or the community, bro, are you okay? <laughs> bro, end the show, dude. I gotta do no, so bad. You guys know.